Previously on the last webcomic update. So Drew Max again! No, oh, you're in there, you piece of what? 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 And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Hello, my name is Pinky, and welcome back to another webcomic update. Um, first of all, shout out to like, uh, my five subscribers. Ah, yo, whoa, what a massive amount. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, uh, I would have done one of those. Uh, like joke kind of subscriber specials, like congrats on my five subscriber special. But <laughs> you know, I figured nah, because every time I did that on Instagram, there would be always that one person, that one person that was like, you know, nah, I'm just gonna unfollow. <laughs> She's doing it, and it was like, hmm. So yeah, uh, thanks, like. Yes, uh, welcome to the club. <laughs> you have no idea what you just signed yourself up for. <laughs> yeah, as you can see here, you're probably thinking to yourself, Who the hell is that person? I've never seen her before. She looks weird. First of all, she's not weird. Thank you very much. How dare you assume that of her? Secondly, uh, she could really whoop your butt, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, so I wouldn't get on her bad side if I were you. So, this is the R Exchange. Ooh, I'm just, let me just, oh, hang on. There we go. And you can see the bottom. Yay. So basically, I did this as part of an art exchange over on Comic Fury. Um, so here are some of the sketchy stuff. I know, look at all that detail. As you can see, let me just move this. Eh, there we go. As you can see, probably like over there. Ah, uh, I referenced that freaking meme, you know, you know, the lady and she's got all the maps things surrounding her. Yeah, I referenced that. But it's also like a reference within a reference because in my very first uh, page, I did like a PSA telling people, hey, my art kind of sucks. So keep that in mind if it looks a little different. Um, so yeah, and I did this meme. So this is like a reference within a reference. Within a reference. Ooh, reference inception. Here's another page. Oh, look at these silly page shots. I'm so professional now. But yeah, you can basically find the whole thing um, over on Comic Fairy. I'll link it in the description below. So that way you guys can read it too. Um, but fun fact about this, right? Uh, at the time of doing one of my pages, let me find it, this one, at the time of doing this one, I found out by one of the organizers, I only had, uh, like two days left to complete this whole thing. I didn't have, at this point I was not finished and I was keep panicking about it. So, uh, yeah. So when I found out we had 24 hours left to complete this bad boy, I did this sketch. Or some of it anyway. And this was the one I did within 24 hours. Oh, oh my god, most stressful thing ever. But on the plus side, I have a feeling that the creator of this character is gonna love it, honestly. That's like the one thing I enjoy about these art exchanges. Sure, you know, at times it can be a bit much, but the one satisfying thing is seeing this person go, oh wow, this is awesome. So I just, I really hope I did their character justice. So, um, I did some badges. If we open up this Ziploc bag. There we go. You can see that when I made these, to me, yeah, something didn't really look right and I couldn't put my finger as to why. It's because my older badges were actually a lot smaller. Uh, it's funny because in my head they were so much bigger. So, yeah, and I didn't really, as much as I was banking on these being the ones, I really, really liked my, my older badges that I did better. Um, so, yeah. And I feel like that since these are flatter, I feel like they are just begging to be snapped in half, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I could just throw that on the pavement and watch it shatter. This one, since it's a bit thicker, I feel like that this one would actually be better, you know? So, 
Yeah. For those who don't know the backstory of my older badges, I was originally going to do a giveaway on Instagram a very long time ago. Uh, the thing was, was that, you know, I, I prepared the post, I asked the people if they wanted it. They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I posted it, no one was really interested in it. So I just said, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna leave them. So I've had these ever since. And so I was like, you know what, I'll just make an Etsy store and sell them there instead of doing like a little giveaway. Um, you know, because I figured that maybe if I, you know, got their interest, you know, it would give me an idea whether to actually do these or not. I did a poll on Instagram um, about these badges, you know, because I wanted to see if it was just me, because I, I really wanted to know what people thought about it. Uh, and it was a majority to the older badges, but then eventually it became a 50-50, so now it's like split. However, I came to the conclusion that in my, my for me personally i like the older badges better i'm just gonna do them like that but for now these will be just another prototype i'm also planning to do an in-between one you know something that's in between an actual badge maker badge and one that's in between a clay one because the clay ones take longer than the regular badges so this one's more like a pin and you know instead of it being clay features this one is drawn on now i don't know about you but i was a bit worried that this would look kind of dodgy um but yeah let me know what you guys think about something like this i also did some more writing which is really good this is for chapter five slash episode five whatever you want to call it if you want to read it then pause because sometimes like not all of it's 100 percent final um i ended up writing some more stuff in the tiny little book over here um so yeah, I came up with some more like ideas. So uh, yeah. But yeah, that's basically what I've been up to in terms of that stuff. We're gonna give you guys some more Max Law. Yay! Yes. Yes, I know. More Max Law, are you kidding me? Yes. Uh, so for those who don't know and haven't been following the old webcomic updates before Max became Mr. Strabbled, depressed, 30-something uh, year old man uh, you know, he actually was in love with somebody he had a great life, you know, before the whole Oculus thing happened uh, you know, this, this is Alex and that's younger Max, okay? Uh, and they're being cute and in love I drew this uh, actually while sitting on a bus actually I you know, I was traveling in the back of a bus, you know, and I decided to draw. Holy crap, it was so hard, oh my god. So, I ended up, uh, you know, once we were off the bus, I decided to close it and probably, you know, finish a little bit of it when I got home. So, I did just that. Sure, it could have been better, but I think I did pretty good considering the scale is not like A4, you know, it's like A3, teeny tiny. So, yeah, if you want to check out the whole thing then i recommend you look at my instagram oh speaking of which uh here's, here's a little whiplash for you look if you dare something cursed or blessed may show up Ooh. <gasps> don't ask questions okay <laughs> the internet made me do it okay look look okay there was an orc challenge where you had to draw your characters in certain outfits this is not my proudest moment. <laughs> Moving on! The internet made me do it, I swear. If you want to look at this cursed or blessed drawing, depending on your views, uh, you know where to go. To be honest with you, in terms of computer stuff, I haven't done a lot because I prioritized a lot on this. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, since it's not the computer technically, it's, it's actually my iPad, uh, I'll show you the more prettified versions, you know, of these sketches. So let's move over to the iPad. So how I did this technique was rather simple. Uh, so basically what I did was that I did different layers of black uh, and different shades of opacity. And um, yeah, I also did, you know, the speech bubbles in you know, on a different layer, as well, just so people would know who's talking. I forgot to say this before, but the the chick is Phantomore. 
and uh, yeah so anyway uh, I did all of that I found out about this little trick uh, because of a post on Instagram who uh, recommended that for your sketches to pop a bit more you should you know shade it on a program such as procreate and this is a little reference image woo. Um, so yeah with this one I added uh, a bit of you know a textured brush to give off a leafy effect um yeah so that's basically what i did i'm really happy with how it turned out considering how much time i had left to complete this uh but yeah you can check it out on comic fairy so yeah well anyway that's all you have time for for today's update um, if you like what you see so far, please subscribe to Rules and Conspiracies over on Comic Fury. And, since this is YouTube now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit the bell. Because that's what YouTube is saying. <laughs> right? I hope I'm getting the whole YouTube-y thing right. Uh, if I'm not, just, just slap me with a cold, dead, smelly fish. <laughs> Actually, actually, don't do that. That's probably not a good idea. Well, anyway, bye-bye, and I hope you all have a good day.